Hey friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Monday and I have your word for the day. When I was growing up in Bumpus Mills, Tennessee, yes, you heard that correctly, Bumpus Mills, Tennessee, part of our house included housing for a pump. It was what we called the well house or the pump house. It was dark, it was stinky, it was musty, and it was a place I tried to avoid. Then the rats showed up. The rats. My dad set huge rat traps, like giant mouse traps, inside and around that pump house. And for a couple of days straight, he caught rat after rat after rat. They were huge. They looked like cats. I tried to set one of those rat traps myself. I put the bait on the little metal area and I tried to pull that hammer back and put the bar down. But the tension on the hammer part or whatever it's called was so great, I didn't get the bar set in place. And when I pulled my hand back, the trap nearly took my fingers off when it snapped back into place. When it comes to our dealing with other people, Proverbs offers some good advice about setting traps for others. Proverbs 26, 27 says this, If you set a trap for others, you will get caught in it yourself. If you roll a boulder down on others, it will crush you instead. This principle is reminiscent of what the Apostle Paul writes in Galatians 6, 7. He writes, Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. If you set a trap for other people so you can mess them up, if you set them up for failure at work, or if you set somebody up at failure at home, the Bible is clear. You're only going to mess yourself up in the process. Remember, it's our purpose to love God and to love other people with all our heart, to lead them to a life-changing relationship with Jesus and that even includes the people in your life who are not for you. People in your life that you may call your enemy. Instead of setting a trap for the destruction of others, instead of hoping their personal life is filled with big old rats, begin to pray for them. Ask God to turn their hearts toward Him and that they would surrender their lives to Jesus. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, apply it, or leave a comment. God bless.